So I went to Goodwill today and I found some pretty cool things. I got the Hercules Season 1, 2, and 3 series. Half off, it was green tag, so this all came less than $10. That was nice. I got a GE radio cassette player. Comes with a graphical equalizer on it. And I also have found some lightning cables. All at a relatively cheap price. But the price today is this Dell 3x4 LCD monitor. Almost everyone has seen these things before, so we're gonna begin by cleaning this with an alcohol bath. This bad boy may have been in an office, may have been used in a school. Most people have seen them in schools or offices. The very standard fanfare for PCs, office PC types. This is a VGA type, comes with standard three pong connector and VGA connection and nothing else, no speakers, no DVI, nothing, just VGA. So I'm gonna test this with my laptop and when I initially plugged it in, it really worried me because it displayed a white screen. I was very, very concerned thinking that this was a dead monitor and I have bought dead monitors before and there's just, you, you just can't mess with them. Uh, there's a capacitor gone, something's wrong with it. So uh, upon attempting to plug it back in again, I got some sort of a signal, it was, it was faint. It was going in and out, we had issues, but moving the monitor around, tapping on it, checking everything that could possibly be wrong with it, it fixed. So it was no big deal, no problem, didn't have to go in. Uh, this is an E153FP Dell monitor. You guys have probably seen them in offices, you've seen them in libraries, you've seen them all over the place. And did you know that the resolution that this puts out is the most common in America, ranking up at about a third of every computer accessing the internet? Once again, we can thank schools, offices, and libraries for that. It does have a built-in tester to test for dead pixels, colors, things like that. And this one seems to be operating perfectly fine. So with these tests being completed, I'm going to go ahead and play some real life scenarios via YouTube. We're gonna move on to some gaming. So even though I didn't buy this uh, for gaming, I bought this mainly for Jen as a secondary monitor for her work. Uh, this thing is a workhorse. It's not necessarily designed for gaming, but it does have the specs that would work out great for a secondary monitor. And I have now given a second life. But now I have to work on shipping out some things. So I'll see you next time.